welcome back to my youtube channel so thank you for joining me for another one of my videos and guess what this week it's a law of attraction video which i know you will all be super excited about so in this video i wanted to cover money i know i covered money before but it was kind of mixed in with a few other things and you guys requested a video specifically on money and to go into more depth so now more time has passed as well obviously i've learned new tips and tricks on how to successfully manifest money so yeah this video is all about how to manifest lots and lots of money. So what I like to do when I manifest money is I set intentions each month. So on the new moon, you can find out the dates of the new moon each month by just popping it in Google and you will find out. Um, and on the new moon, what I like to do is write a magic check, which can be found on the magic's website and also in the book, The Magic by Rhonda Byrne. And what I do is I just simply fill that out and then that's it for the month. And also I will write down a list of things I want to manifest in the month and I'll write it there as well, like earn a certain amount of money. And then also in my happiness planner, it has monthly goals as well. So I will put in there on under work goals exactly what I want to earn. And every single month since I started the law of attraction, I've earned exactly what I've written down. And money seems to be one of the easiest things I can manifest. I don't know why, but it just seems to be. So you can print the magic check off from the magic website. You may not be able to see this very clearly because it's white and everything's white in here. Literally my friends have nicknamed this house the White House because the whole exterior is white. The whole interior is white, everything's white. So this is the presidential house. Yeah, so anyway, so um, in the pay section, you write your own name. So I would write Emma Mumford to the order of, and then I put, however much money I want to earn a month. So you just write it out as you would in a check. Um, in this section, you obviously write the amount in numbers um, and then the date you put for the end of the month. So the time you want to manifest it by. I recently did mine on the new moon, which was on the 26th. Um, so I've written by the 31st of May. So you need to give it a month. And so it's kind of like you give yourself a month to earn it, if that makes sense. So you always write the end of the next month because you're writing it at the end of the month. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. So I simply just write this little check, keep it in my um, notebook, which has my affirmations for the month in. And that's it simply. So then in my notebook, and I will link this down below the guide I follow, I do a new moon ritual on the new moon as well with that check. And I write out five to six intentions for the month of what I want to manifest. And in there I will put earn blah, blah, blah amount of money. So I write the same as what's on my magic check. Um, and I will link, like I said, I will link that below because there's a little bit of writing I do, um, which, you know, covers yourself. It just basically says that I bring these things into my life now or something better for the greater good of everyone concerned. So I will link that down below. Have a little look about that as that will give you some guidance on how to manifest money on the new moon. Um, and that's all I really do, to be honest. Like I said, then write it in my happiness planner, but that's optional. I just like to be consistent throughout everything. But that's fundamentally how I manifest money each month. Um, then I just let go of it and watch the money come in really. What I seem to struggle with is because of my business, obviously I do like a daily earnings. So I like keep track of what I'm earning each day. I can get so obsessed with that. And then I think I like block myself. But even though I block myself, I still manifest the figure which I've written down on the sheet. But I set myself these stupid little daily goals and then get so obsessed with the daily goals that I just end up blocking myself. So then when I bloody worry about something else, it all comes through. So I think this leads me on to my next point. If you are in a really difficult situation at the moment and you're really struggling and you're like, what can I do? Like all I can think about is money. I need money now. Like the one thing I will say to you is you need to distract yourself with something because for me, money is like, such a big thing and 
I can really obsess about it and it's really hard for me to like just forget about it and let it go like it will start to worry me and then I'm like oh my god and then I make it so much worse so if you're in that position where it's all you think about day and night you've got debt around your neck you're worrying like I don't know for whatever reason then you have to distract yourself with something because this is the only way I unblock myself and manifest money is by literally worrying about something else. So when I see myself worrying about money, I then realize I'm like, okay, right, what can I worry about? So if something's going on in my life or something's a bit tense or I don't know, like I'm waiting for a result of something or I don't know, if I'm waiting for something and it's important, I'll worry about that instead. Or if I haven't got anything else and I'm like, oh my God, I then worry that my carpets aren't hoovered or I worry that it's gonna rain tomorrow. I literally obsess about something else as stupid as it may sound and how silly it must sound to like obsess about worrying about whether it's gonna rain tomorrow. It honestly distracts you from money. So you need to distract yourself with something else. Um, try not to make the other thing which you're gonna worry about significant because obviously if that's big as well, you don't then wanna block yourself with that. So make sure it's something insignificant, something that doesn't matter if you then manifest worry. So like I said, just like the weather is probably something, you know, it doesn't bloom and matter. It's so important to worry about something else. I know that's probably like the rubbish advice ever, but that is the only way I actually get my mind off money and allow myself to actually bring it back in and then not worry about it. So I became officially, officially debt free last summer. So obviously I cleared my debt from my ex years ago, but then I got some other debt last year from another ex. So I then set it upon myself. I was like, I'm not gonna wait another three years to be debt free. Like I've done this once, sod this, not doing it again. Like as much as I love money saving and getting out of debt, I was like, sod this, not happening. I'm gonna manifest being debt free. And I remember it was so effortlessly done. I was kind of like, oh my God, if only I'd done this four years ago when I had seven grand's worth of debt, like, oh, that would have been amazing. Um, so what I remember doing is it was last summer and I remember just sitting down and just thinking to myself, later on, I'm gonna manifest being debt free. I'm gonna do like a little ritual. I'm gonna write it all down. But later on, I'm gonna manifest being debt free. I'm gonna, you know, manifest this, like I'll work out exactly the amount I need to earn and then I'll manifest it right write it on a magic check and then yeah it was just kind of like I'll do that later but I've got tons to do now I'll do it later um and then I f actually forgot to do the ritual and writing it down later and forgot all about it because other stuff had happened in my life like work and busyness um and then four days later I actually through my business, I got the exact amount of money to become debt free. And it was through, it was through my business that it wasn't expected. Like this is an absolutely brand new opportunity. Never done this before, never, it was not available to me or, you know, I didn't, you know, it, I wasn't made aware that I would earn that money before when I made that intention the other day well last year but it was the other day in this story <laughs> so within five days I manifested being debt free by just half-heartedly saying I'll do it later and then forgetting all about it so and that is honestly 90% of the time how I manifest everything um so I would really be relaxed about it. Like the best way to be, and this isn't this isn't everything, not just money. You literally need to be like, wow, it would be so amazing if I could manifest this. But guess what? I don't even need to manifest it because I've got so much money. Like, even though you may not, and like I didn't when I did this, but you could you just have to be in that state of 
I've just got so much money, it doesn't matter. Like, if I manifest it, freaking amazing. If I don't, so what? I've still got loads of money. So you need to get in that mind frame. And I know people are gonna be like, yeah, but it's really hard when you've got nothing and you're scraping by or like you've got debt and everything. Like, yes, I've been there twice. I totally know it takes over your life. It takes over your mind. You have sleepless nights. It's horrible. I totally get that but you need to get into your grateful mind. So you need to be grateful for every single penny that you've ever earned throughout your life. You need to be grateful for every single penny that has been given to you in your life. You know, you know, when you were brought up by your parents, they paid for everything. They gave you an education. They gave you everything, clothes, food on the table, have roof over your head. Like you have to be grateful for how much your parents have given you growing up and then into your adult life. You know, you, you've worked in jobs. You have to be grateful for those jobs, for all the money you've earned and everything you've bought so far. If you've got a house, wow. Like, you know, you've bought a house. That's incredible. Think of all the money you earn to earn that house and you just need to be so grateful for absolutely everything you've earned so far you need to feel rich so don't you know this is probably one of the hardest things so when you are like you know in financial trouble and you know you, you don't necessarily have disposable funds to go and pretend to be rich um you need to feel it and you know if you were rich you wouldn't or you know not necessarily rich but you know just comfortable you wouldn't be scrimping and saving you wouldn't be cutting back you wouldn't be you know not treating yourself you would be doing all of it because you had the money so as difficult as it is and you probably think that's the craziest thing so you're telling me to go and spend money um, to manifest more money but i'm not saying like go over the top but you need to act as if and acting as if entails spending a little bit of money and thinking so what i've got so much more money coming to me and you know even now when you know i pay big invoices or like you know i hate paying myself a salary because then it makes my business bank account lower and i'm like damn it but I just see it as, oh well, I'll learn more. And you know, even when I got screwed over by my exes financially, I was just like, so what, I'll learn more. And you know, in business, I've been screwed over by companies. Companies haven't paid me. And you know, instead of taking them to court and going through all that palaver, I'm just like, I learn it back, don't worry about it. And I think that's why I manifest money so effortlessly because I'm just so relaxed about it. I'm like, yeah, no worries, it will come to me no worries at all and maybe that's because I've got to a point where I've seen it work time and time again that it is just a certainty as such I guess in a weird way but you know you will get to that stage you totally will start off small as well you know start off with like manifesting a free coffee a free drink um you know finding a five pound note on the floor start off small build up big but to be honest I started off really big I think Oh no, I'd manifested 500 pounds. Yeah, I manifested 500 pounds for a pair of Christian Louboutins. I spoke about this before. Uh, and I manifested it in three days. And then I was like, I don't want the shoes. I'll just pay my rent and like pay important things because then I had financial responsibilities by myself and I had to put, like look after my flat. So I did the adult thing and didn't buy the designer shoes. But I still manifested 500 pounds, which was so incredible. And then I just thought, sod it go big, go hard or go home. So I accidentally manifested being debt free, which was just the best feeling in the world because, you know, it, none of this debt in my life was my fault and it just felt horrible to, for me to have to pay it, you know? And people say to me like, doesn't it make you upset that, you know, you've had to pay over 10 grand in other people's debt in your life? But I'm like, but what I've got in return from those awful situations is far greater than £10,000, both emotionally, like work-wise, fulfilling, and money-wise, you know. What I've got since is far, is like, I don't even think about that. And you know, those experiences I had to go through, like I had to go through all of that to get where I am today. So really, it was like a 10 grand investment I guess, investment in life. So I don't feel negatively towards it. I, you know, I just had to, you know, as I said before, I had to get my head down and pay it off. Like no one else was gonna pay it off for me. So 
why wouldn't I pay it? And you know, once it's done, it's done. And then whatever I earn is mine. So yeah, it doesn't really bother me. And I suppose if you're in that situation as well, maybe um, it is really hard to like not blame that person and like not be angry at that person. But you know, once you realize that you can have anything in this life and you see yourself manifesting money so quickly and so effortlessly, you'll just think, so what? so what karma's you know karma's gonna repay me well and you know that's their karma what they've done so really no one's at a loss so some other great things to do as well if you are trying to manifest quickly or you know just want to get really positive about money anyway is the way you speak about money so like a couple of my friends just talk so negatively about money and it like infuriates me um, you know, I and I will not say what they say here because I accidentally said it once that it screwed me over for a week. So yes, I, we all know what things you shouldn't say. Um, you know, saying that you don't have certain things and you know, just complaining, complaining about it as well doesn't work. So you need to get into a state, and I know it's gonna be hard to walk around and be like, I'm so wealthy, I have so much money, and everyone's gonna think, uh, do you? Uh, but you know, you don't have to go and specifically say it to people, but you know, to yourself, to your partner, in your home, you need to be like, we are wealthy, I have money, I have more money than I can spend. And you know, if you're in employment, because obviously it's a bit different being self-employed, you can kind of like openly manifest whatever you want. Whereas when you're in like a salary based job, then it, it can be quite tricky. But you know, even the other day, a lady commented on my one of my YouTube videos saying that she jokingly manifested a raise at work because I said about how I jokingly manifested this house. Um, so it does work and you can get raises and you need to, you know, if you want a certain raise, then you need to be writing that down each month. Um, or maybe you could get a bonus if you're on like a commission structure, maybe you could write down what bonus you wanted each month. Um, you know, there's so much you can do when you're on like a salary based, um, income and who knows, you know, money doesn't have to come from your job either. It can, you know, someone could gift it to you. You could win a competition. You could... God knows, like 500 pound could just smack you in the face in the wind one day. Like the universe is a crazy ass thing. So anything could happen and don't like limit it to your job as well. I'm quite bad. I do limit it to my job because I'm like, well, how else am I gonna earn money? But I do get surprised. I mean, no one's gifted me any money yet. I'd quite like that. <laughs> but yeah, you just need to be open-minded and don't worry about how it will come to you. So, you know, if you, I don't know, like say your car broke down and you needed to manifest 500 pounds to fix it for argument's sake, don't be like, I will manifest 500 pounds for my work. You know, just be like, I will manifest 500 pound. That 500 pound is coming to me. It's here. I have that 500 pound. And then like visualize your car being fixed and visualize the happy feeling you would have once your car's fixed and your car's back on the road. You know, just visualize that, but don't obsess about it. Then let it go. And, you know, just worry about something else, like I said. So if, you know, it's quite a big problem with your car or whatever the situation is, worry about something else. Worry that there is no snacks in the cupboard. Worry that it could rain tomorrow. Do not worry about the car or whatever situation is happening in your life. But like I said, jokingly manifesting is the way forward. Like I've done it more times than I can count. And now you guys are saying that it's working for you guys as well. It clearly bloody works. So I would just, you know, literally when I said it, I was like, later on I'm gonna manifest being debt free so I better remember to do that never bloody did it so you need to just like jokingly and you know even when I manifested this house I said like wouldn't it be really funny if I could like find a house that's the same price as my flat I did I did and I joked about it I flipping joked so you know just get creative with it get a fun be light-hearted about it. Don't like act like your life depends on it because then you're attaching to it. Then you're like, 
you know, you're gonna block yourself. So you need to just be like, I am so rich. I have so much money, but guess what? Thank you universe for bringing me the 500 pounds into my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what I always do. Like I always wake up in the morning and like, if I need to manifest something, I'm like, thank you universe for bringing this into my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and that's how I like to manifest as well. Like talking as if it's already happened, not saying I will manifest. It's thank you for the money. And also in the book, The Magic by Rhonda Byrne, which I always rave about, and I'll link that down below as well. There's some great money practices in there. Like, um, they tell you to like write on a dollar bill, but obviously we don't have that in the UK. So I stuck a pound to a post-it note and wrote, thank you for all the money that's come to me throughout my life. So um, yeah, I think that all doing all of that is definitely what's helped me manifest continuously, literally effortlessly. And you know, I just, I think because I have that like certainty that it will work, that's just helping me as well because I'm just detaching and letting go like of course it's gonna happen like why wouldn't it happen so if you haven't done this before and you you're a little bit worried or you th you're kind of like blocking yourself because you're just focusing and obsessing definitely worry about something else joke joke about it and just get really light-hearted about it and feel rich you know feel rich what would you do if you had all that money where would you go what would you say whatever it is do it visualize feel rich feel you know visualize your bank account and something else i did as well actually before i forget i <laughs> i basically photoshopped my so i took a screenshot of my internet banking and then photoshopped like six noughts on it. <laughs> so if I become a millionaire anytime soon, it was because I photoshopped my bank statements. <laughs> but just, you know, like do it, why not? Reach, like go big, like I said, like, you know, don't limit yourself, go big. And you know, it could just happen. I mean, I say it could, it will happen. Of course it will happen. So, you know, just things like that, like do a little, take a screenshot of your, um, internet banking or even a bank statement wherever it says your balance on it and just add a few noughts and feel good about it and because it looks so realistic because I photoshopped it I'm like oh my god imagine if I actually had that money in there like Nationwide would be so happy I mean I don't think I would be with Nationwide if I was a millionaire I think you have like these private banks or something I don't know who knows, um, <laughs> I'll cross that bridge when it happens, eh? So I hope this has helped you and I hope it's given you a little bit of inspiration on how to get positive with manifesting money, how to do it effortlessly, and please, please, please share your stories down below because I love hearing them and it will inspire other people. And if you share your experiences, you know, we can all help one another. So thank you guys for watching my video. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. And leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all. And I will see you in my next video, which will be on Friday. I hope, I hope this comes out on a Tuesday. <laughs> I'm pretty certain it will. <laughs> my video is every Tuesday and Friday at 6 p.m. So whatever day it is, that's the next one. <laughs> I'm getting awful at this. Anyway, lots of love guys.